Brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to Chicken Soup for the Truth or Soul. And today, going to be talking about a very, very interesting event that took place on the election eve before JFK was elected as president of the United States. November 7th, 1960. Boston, Massachusetts, the Boston Garden. So many of you out there already know that the left-right paradigm is um, a construct that is meant to keep us divided and um, also to be more involved in the world and thinking that what's going to happen in the Bible is somehow going to be changed or swayed whether or not one person gets in or the other. It's not the case. It's simply not the case, brothers and sisters, and I think that many of you already know that, but for people out there who are still um, interested in any of these political dynasties, really, because a lot of them are related by bloodline, which is how they get selected, not elected. So I made some liner notes for this video because I didn't want it to be as extended as a lot of these other videos tend to be. Um, but I wanted to start with some simple examples of Masonic handshakes and then later there's going to be some some straight up black magic that they're doing on the stage, um, spell casting, and all outright possession, which is going to begin with this what I have on the screen here. So he's going in for the handshake. This is the first person he's shaking hands with as he enters the stage. They're about to do something very wicked up on this stage. And um, first thing I want us to also point out is this policeman back here. As you can see by his hat, he's also possessed. I don't know if you can make this out, but I, I mentioned in one of my last videos that when people get possessed, um, when the spirit gets in the vessel, then it causes different things to occur that are abnormal to the human eye. And having those eyes to see and ears to hear that Jesus Christ has blessed, blessed um, me with, and many of you out there, I'm hoping that you can see what I see. His eye bulging out of his head. And um, and then it just, the spirit shows themselves through the eyes in the form of legion. Spoken about in the Bible as well. So we see reality. We see reality as it is, not as what people think it is. I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to point out three other people who are going to be important during this video. Now, this is the introduction of three people who are going to be important later. The first guy is the one, the third from the right, closest to the podium with one eye showing. He's already manifesting because he's anticipating what he's about to do next. And the guy who's got the handkerchief and the darker hair to his right, next to the guy with one eye showing, he is going to be a very, very important person to look out for in this upcoming 
um, snippet. And here's the third person. So here's our trio that we're looking out for. We're gonna need to look out for these three right here. This is the light haired one. I'm just gonna call him the purely evil possessed looking one. This is the person who I suspect is either his handler or a CIA agent or secret service. These two simply look like they're synagogue of satan crypto jews then there is the possibility that these three people um are simply people who haven't accepted christ as their lord and savior and or belong to a false religion or a secret society which would give legal grounds for these um demons to inhabit their vessel unknowingly and unwillingly And here is the first time he starts with the black magic, Kabbalistic um, magic here by throwing up these, these, these ancient, ancient poses. Hand signs isn't really an accurate enough way to describe what he's about to do here. He's already begun, but if you think he's just going to do it one time, you're sorely mistaken. He's, this is what solidified in my mind him as someone who was never looking out for telling the truth to Americans, despite the fact that he um, made, a, made a statement about secret societies. He possibly was not only in a secret society here, he's showing himself with the Masonic so-called hand signs, right? This is literally witchcraft, ancient mystery religion taught witchcraft um but also that he was possibly in a bloodline just from how how proficient it's going to work these um these spells he's casting here Yeah, he's not who everyone thought he was. I just wanted to make that clear because I see in the truth community a lot of people playing that quote by him over and over about secret societies. And this is it right here. Before, um, before our very eyes. This is the guy who I was saying was probably Secret Service, but also his handler. I say that because once he's about to get up to the podium, he literally mimes something to him, points with his head, and then he, like a command, and then JFK carries it out. Now watch closely in the next few seconds and how this tall man here reacts in his in his face see he's pleased he's doing the devil's bidding and his foot soldier servants are pleased 
this is an acknowledgement. This guy is also under the possession of devils, many being legion, because they each share the same... It doesn't matter what vessel, they all share the same the same features to look out for, the same, the same reactions to look out for. Many different personalities equals many demons, but working through many vessels, they are all one. And so once you start to be able to see across the board, people as a whole sweeping audience, being able to point out those few, kind of like that game you may have played as a child called I Spy or Where's Waldo, that one out of the crowd, that few out of the crowd in this case, Okay. Then there's the possibility that these people are not only possessed by devils, but that they're possessed by fallen angels, which no doubt they would have a part in setting up the selection elections and the who is picked for these positions. Look at how endearing he's looking at him, as if like good, good um servant, good boy, good um, slave to his slave, if he is his handler, which ultimately it says in the Bible that these people are of their father, the devil. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead to another part here where he starts to do the hidden hand in a different kind of way you may have never seen before. This way he's doing it, he's sticking his hand in his pocket. But this still counts as the hidden hand, and here's how I know. Okay, so you're going to notice them doing this a lot, a long time ago in portraits, going back centuries. Um, but mostly centered in and around the 19th century, you're going to see this during the Civil War period. If you look at some of those photos where they're out on the field, and they're with their tents, and they're and they're with their troops and all these things, um, you're going to notice that they're going to do this. Um, you may even see Abe Lincoln doing this, which you know that this, you know that his assassination, JFK's and uh, Lincoln's assassination happened almost exactly 100 years apart, right? So I wanted to add that detail. But I also wanted to point out here mainly this guy. This is one of our three guys to look out for, the light-colored light hair male who's going to be looking at him very endearingly as well, as if, keep going, good job. Right here. Notice how slowly he's clapping. Notice how slowly he's clapping, right? Okay, he's there's he's some, there's something obviously different about him compared to the rest of the people, right? Okay, here it is again. Look at that. His he's, his eyes literally his smile his eyes are deeply focused on him. His smile is off kilter. He's like, you absolute fool, I can't believe that you've, you've signed up for this and you're willing to go through and that you'd like to go become president because who knows what kind of rituals they have to do if these people locally or in and around the whole country at their lodges are doing unspeakable acts with no windows where you can't see in. Just think of what they have to do. We already know that they have to go into that. We already know that every time they get someone in office that when they're about to get inaugurated, they take them to that Scottish right temple, I believe it is, in D.C., along the same route as the White House, and they have to make a pit stop there because, well, pit stop, get it? Like, they, because they have to make sure that they put everything on them spiritually before they get into the office. And if you want to go look at another video of interest, it's the inaugural address video where they show his first day sitting in the Oval Office and he throws up the pyramid. He knows what it was all, he knew, was he knows what it's all about. And uh, you know, they, they said this guy was Catholic, which means Jesuit. So he was down. 
He was down kind of like today. We have Fauci, Ouchie, Ouchie, Fauci, rather, um, pushing the jab, who's also Jesuit, mm. Jesuit connected. And now I'm going to skip ahead again. It's just going to be some very crazy things as we move forward. Again, we have two out of three of our trio here. And I wanted to point out the third one who's going to come in on the far left behind this, behind this guy here, behind the podium. This guy's going to come in right behind him. You're going to see this is the most evil one out of the three of them. And I do believe him and JFK did some sort of bonding ritual, as if to say he's probably, if not his official, because I can't confirm if it's if it's not his official spiritual advisor. You know how how Trump had a spiritual advisor. I'm gonna talk about him in another video because him and his "You knew I was a snake when I let you in" poem has also got some interesting things happening behind it and in the crowd. And here he is. Do you see how evil his eye looks? You know what the Bible says about this. But except for in this case, here's the here's what's amplified. It's this is the definition of your body being full of darkness, what you're about to see with this man moving forward. Would you look at his face? The grimace. The smirk, absolute disdain, hatred. Now, what is Satan like? He hates humanity. He's got absolute disdain, wants us destroyed, wants to um, rule the world, temporarily rules the world, wants to keep on thinking he's going to win, determined to use puppets, proponents, foot soldiers, agents to try to bring down any of God's servants, any of God's people in any way possible trying to do so. Looks like a complete tear. Completely stopped clapping. He's 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 and he's he's anxious for him to get behind the podium so he can get those people in the audience. Which if they showed the audience, which the should, which in the in the clips. Um, excuse me, in the clips that I'm going to be showing you, I don't believe they'll be showing the audience, but he's in a stadium with about 30 to 40k people. So it was very important that they do this in the election eve because it's important <laughs> to them to get people idol worshipping them under mind control. But um, I'm going to skip ahead just a little to here and i wanted to point out this is when the handler starts to mouth words at him um this tall dark-haired male here okay watch his mouth the handler in the back is about to acknowledge him and look at him give him the nod he's going to literally give him a nod to let him know to let the spell casting begin Sticks hand in pocket. His eyes are directed in a straight line down to his pocket. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, too. That smirk, he knows. He was absolutely wicked tear. And, of course, there's other people that I'm not pointing out who manifest at times. You may notice. You may, you may make note of. Okay? He's doing the devil's bidding, okay? And he's laying the groundwork, setting up America for a huge downfall later on. And you saw in history class that they, they programmed with just in school what happened that decade, the huge change, abortions, obviously not of God. We're not supposed to commit murder. Um, like the sexual... The sexual freedom, right, movement, which is just fornication, willing fornication outside of marriage, right, which is defiling to our temple. Um, like, women's rights, which women have their, there's a place where 
we belong in the in the um, body of Christ and so but they were on a mission <laughs> they were on a mission to try to destroy the nation and he was one of those people oh yeah and tried to refute God altogether by going to space which that never happened and trying to pull that off suffice to say many of us know that's not true and that's that's definitely encouraging but there's many people out there who do need to know this guy was not who he he, he, he <laughs> this guy is not who he appeared to be all right so it's about to get crazy these people are about to start chanting as if under mind control as these people continue to cast spells Masonic handshake there's gonna be a Masonic um, pledge here right there sorry I should point it out in case somebody who's watching doesn't know what it is this is a Masonic pledge it's their way of doing a pledge which is why you shouldn't pledge an allegiance or take an oath and it also advises not to do that in the Bible bring curses upon yourself too by doing these kinds of things in your whole entire bloodline your whole entire bloodline until you discover it rebuke it renounce it cast it out be delivered um, completely from the generational curse because this really will this some of this stuff ends bloodlines This is where they begin chanting. Okay, so I don't know if you've heard the audience in the background chanting. Oh, goodness. And here is the part where he acknowledges he knows they're under mind control. He looks as if he knows he's put them under a spell and that he has very little remorse and looks at them as if they're underneath him and as if they're vermin. Okay. Just back a couple, a few seconds, 10 seconds here. This guy that I've been pointing out the entire video is about to do the ultimate evil thing here and be under possession right out in the open in a wide, wide arena full of people. Just Pay attention to this guy's eyes and his face and his smile and just the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Very quickly, I'd like to point out, when you look at videos and you scrub, you may notice there's some distortion. You may notice there is some distortion, but it's not really distortion. It's the spirits manifesting on people but it's easier to see when it's out of focus. If you notice there's some blurriness, these are spirits, he's covered in demons. This, this guy who's to the right and back of him and JFK himself are covered in demons and that's why they seem like they might stand out compared to all the people in the background because I think, like I said, they did a bonding ritual, but I could be wrong. Pay attention to this guy's face.
Okay. If you were looking at his face, you may have noticed it was just pure evil the entire time, which is exactly what the demonic is. And again, this is scriptural, how there are tares and these people are the children of the devil and there's no other way around it. And that is a perfect example. Now again, I suspect he is just a regular run-of-the-mill synagogue SOS, synagogue of Satan, crypto-Jew. Because we know they're not the real Jews. They say they are, they are not. And, you know, I just hope that you're not too flustered from seeing that. Plead the blood of um, Jesus over your eyes. Um, because... Yeah, and then you start to hear squealing, weeping, then moaning, wailing. And what does it say also in the Bible? There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell. So now when these people start manifesting their screams, do know that this is not normal. Do know that. Do know that. This is the cause of them being put under his spell by all of his hand gestures, we could say, his ancient his ancient maneuvers with his hands. Okay. The band from the uh, 80s, I believe, called Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Right? Very telling name. Very telling. Um... Uh, Yeah, let's go a little bit further here. Then we're going to skip to the very end and wrap this up. That was a shrill. I was playing that so that you could hear more of them under possession, but if you've ever heard deliverance and like mass deliverance where they're doing like like a conference, um, this is what it sounds like. Like I've been to a conference before where this happened and we had deliverance and it sounded just like this. And um, <laughs> yeah, I want, I, I, I just wanted to to point that out. I don't want you to have to endure any more of this, really. It's even too, it's even a lot just for me to listen to over and over because I've, I've heard it on audio. I've been in an actual deliverance session. I've, you know, I've done self-deliverance before and I'm probably going to make another video about it in the future. Um, but this is real. This is not made up at all. What you're hearing, oh, I'll play it a few more seconds because that was the shrill and you're going to hear the wailing, screaming and wailing and gnashing of teeth. All this, it sounds like we've entered like hell. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> you really gotta use your ears to hear for this one. Really, 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 really discern because it's, the pitch is so low, what was happening right there. But leading up to this, there's all these different voices going on, like I said before. Um, Legion. Many different um, demons uh, manifesting in people who possibly were living in sin. I mean, I'd like to think of that as a better time, 1960. 
and many of us would, but the reality of it is there's nothing new under the sun, which includes the people that were there then. There's, they're just as they are now and how they will be in the future as far as as far as their the people who existed and what they believed in and who they served and perhaps again um, false religions and secret societies during that time the 1950s through the 1960s during that period one in 12 people according to life magazine an issue from 1995 uh, sorry 1955 claims this to be the case one in 12 were masons so then there's the fact that the synagogue of satan runs the masons and there you have a huge population of the u.s who were in these organizations i think there was a rfk video i saw where they they purposefully moved in the camera i believe this was cbs this was on abc this video here and they purposely zoomed in the camera on these these people who belonged to a lodge and they had they were repping their lodge and it was like 1962 three theory i think i was like yeah it was all they were all about that life back then okay they were all about that life now zooming very 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 far ahead and after the speech it sounds like all out possession I wanted to also point out our man right here's face, who is completely, again, enamored with the servant, that servant being JFK. And he's doing the hidden hand again, because it's not enough that they're already under his spell, I guess. Check out how his face looks. Our man here, light colored hair. His hand, they're coming into view. He's about to give him his last verbal cue. He's about to give him his last and final command before he's moved off of stage. Watch his mouth. You saw his mouth moving. And here comes our main pigeon pecker. That's what I like to call him. I got that from Jurassic Wires 26, at least. So I kind of picked up on that from him. Here, you see his posture. He just, he's crawling with demons. He literally cannot wait to get, he cannot wait to, again, draw on some of that energy. He's cooking up here from doing this this magical stuff hand signed God said not to do worshiping false gods he's the only one he is the one the one and only but look at how he starts clawing at him and then he vehemently is going to get his attention Check out his expression compared to his. Everything. Eyes, nose, the smile, cheeks, muscles, and the veins. The, he's just busting out of his meat suit.
Yeah, I just wanted to point out the coordination of the tears. Because the devil is the author of confusion, a lot of these things are not going to be 100% clear. But I wanted to point out that this that this video is probably the most telling video that has ever been that has ever been made about someone's um, someone's actual position and where who put them there. Now I wanted to point out um, he is looking at JFK as if he is he is property. He is his property. They are his property. He is his property. And he is his property as well. And he's also advising him, but I said before, I think he's his spiritual advisor. Uh, whether pronounced or unpronounced. I'm about to wrap up this video in just a few seconds. But I wanted to summarize what just happened in that whole scene there. He was drawing on the power, him, when he grabbed his wrist. I want to testify for a second. When I was still in sin, back a few years ago, I believe this happened in 2019, summer 2019. When I was still in sin. I was wanting to live in the world, yet God already pulled me out of it. I got in a heated argument with my mother and my grandmother, really, all at the same time. And when I got back upstairs after it had reached a boiling point and I had laid down, I felt something grab my wrist. Okay, I wanted to put that out there because this isn't, I'm not just making this stuff up. I have, I have, I've had experiences where I felt like something was drawing on my energy, literally reached out and touched me and drew the energy from me not too long after that because God was trying to show me, see, I brought you through so much and you're just going to keep on trying to backslide, which is what I was doing then. Um, and because of that, he allowed that to happen to me. So I just wanted to put that out there that I'm not, I'm not making these things up. This is I've even told other, the people who were involved in this argument what happened. And they were like, um, and they were like, um, no, that couldn't have possibly happened. And it did indeed happen. So I, I wanted to, I wanted to wrap up this this video by saying um, they did something very wicked on that stage during this um, election eve, November 7th, 1960, at Boston Garden. There was a huge crowd, and when they have a crowd this large, they cannot afford to risk out on spell casting on thousands of people, not just in the audience, tens of thousands of people watching at home, if not hundreds. Um, so, um, one last thing here, very last thing here. Um, This is another example of possession. It's going to happen and very, very quickly. In one second here. Again, their eyes go black. It's all in the mouth here, all the demons manifesting. Take over, most likely from idol worshiping. And one last thing, because I did um, miss something important here. One last thing. Here is a handler. 
slash campaign manager, possibly, trying to get a photographer in this tan coat out of his way as he's getting too close. And he moves in, notice his hand on his shoulder, his, his arm. He's going to move in two people here that are most likely Secret Service CIA agents. And he is also the handler for them. And later, in a few seconds after, possibly for JFK as well. So again, people are so going to be screaming raucously, idol worshipping him, which is just what they did during his or her, because I say his, her, because we know a lot of these um, people in power are both, or, you know, to get that androgynous look to worship their gods that are also androgynous. Um, and then because they're under this spell and they're idol worshipping, this would set the stage to make them trigger into whatever mind control based off of um, when he was assassinated, supposedly. So, okay, just look at this is going to be happening very quickly in the next few seconds. And then I'm just going to do a summary and a message for people out there who, again, thought that he was like, he was trying to expose secret societies or anything like that because it's very clear here. He, they had him in their pocket. And again, these three people I pointed out to you, and now this final one here, they're very, 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 very possessive and controlling. Very fitting compared to her because of what we talked about in this video. This is where I suspected that he was the handler as well. But I just wanted to say, as he is escorted off stage here, um, if he did indeed get assassinated, um, which is highly unlikely considering how no one seemed to figure out this mystery to this day, and same for that whole, that whole trio there, him, RFK, MLK, people still talk about this to this day. Speculation, all this swirling and confusion. Again, confusion is of the enemy, and um, it is unclear as to whether or not he died. But if he did uh, and did not repent, it would be this would be a similar scene playing out as he's welcomed to the gates of hell. Excuse me, and escorted to his place of torture, and um, I just wanted to say that if you have not been saved, please repent today before it's too late, and be born again of water and spirit. I love you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for watching.